So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you our five pin side exit and bottom exit power cables. Uh, these are for our RGBW Neon Flex, um, which I have a small length of here, which is available on the Highline website. Um, and the exit cables themselves are designed only to fit one way onto the flex. Um, and I'll show you uh, just now how to determine which way round that is. And firstly though, what is the difference between the exit power cables? Now in a previous video I showed you how to connect our end exit, and that's the one uh, with the lead coming off linear to the pins. And as the name would suggest, we have our side exit here. I'll hold it up to the camera, you can see where the pins are, and the cable's coming off to the side. And bottom exit here, again, pins, and the cable with the lead, uh, the lead coming off on the bottom. So it really is quite simple. Uh, depending on where you're installing the flex uh, in relation to your controller and power source, uh, it will determine which end exit cable you're going to want to use. Now, if I take the uh, bottom exit cable here and hold these both up to the camera, you can see at uh, the top side, so on the uh, this is the light channel, on the top there you can see a slight curved end. And you can also see that same curved end on the uh, exit cable and also on the connector cap itself, so we know which way around the top is. However, looking in this, See the uh, the five pins here, they're going to want to fit underneath the PCB, not on top of it or damage it, you need to go underneath and that little plastic lip on the cable, on the uh, power cable has got to fit in the indent on the uh, on the flex itself. So you can see straight away that when I try and do this, that that's the wrong way around, it's not going to work. The lip's not going to match up um, and the pins aren't going to end up on the, on the bottom of this and they're not going to be able to fit in. So we take the other side, you can immediately see that's gonna fit in perfectly just there. Now, note please the damage that I've done to the PCB in, uh, in, in trying to connect these. That's why it's always best to, uh, to over-order about a meter. Um, play around with it, make sure you get the hang of it before you permanently install anything. As I have, as you can see, damaged the PCB trying to, uh, trying to connect this in the past. Let's see if this still works. We have our uh, connector cap with the uh, screw with the uh, threads facing outwards so you can connect the power cable so you slot that down. Next we have our grip pieces. And you can see the uh, on the corner here, you've got a little plastic lip. That's gonna be one facing the uh, the outer side of your flex. So this one is gonna go at the bottom like so, but just make it flush with the uh, flex. Next one, the next one is gonna go on top, uh, on top of this side. You can see at the bottom here, you've got the little plastic teeth. And obviously you don't wanna be covering the light channel with that. So you want to keep those at the bottom. Now, just get my. Once the uh, teeth are connected, you can slide over your connector cap, so it looks like so. I'm not sure if this is going to work as the uh, the damaged PCB on the inside there, but we'll give it a go. So as I said, you want the uh, the five pins to be underneath the PCB, not on top of it. You want to go underneath, as uh, so you can see that that will work if I try it this side. So. Just line it up and push it in. Now, once it is in, give it a wiggle, make sure the connection is made. You can see the little bits that need to click in around the connector. Before you screw it down, it's always worth testing it beforehand. Let's see what happens here with our exit cable. So we have our red, uh, sorry, our black lead is gonna be the positive here. Let's test. Yellow is for blue. Blue seems to be working fine. Green for green. Red for red. And white for white. So, luckily that did work. But as uh, as you saw, the damage to the PCB, it is uh, it is best to get the hang of it before you install it permanently. Then you can um, stick on the screws. Um, and sorry, before we connected this, I should have told you about the IP67 sealant, uh, sorry, IP68 sealant. Uh, apply liberally inside, especially if it's going uh, uh, on the connection, on the connection end, especially if it's going outside or it's gonna be submersed. So um, there you have our, um, we have our five pin side and bottom exit power cables uh, to suit our RGBW Neon Flex.